Yeah, I hit the uh, X button and I closed it out. Oops. Well, um, well, this would technically be a second episode because it's technically a separate separate video file I'm going to edit. Screw that. So, where did I leave off? Let's see here. I was showing you my mob spawner, and yeah, I watched the video I had to make sure that it actually did what I thought it did, so yeah. <laughs> I just I just watched, I just spent 20 minutes doing something else. Um, I believe I was going to show you my slime farm. Yes, that's what I was going to do. That's where I left off. I got the uh... Yeah, I got. I showed you the, the 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 viewing room. So here's the here's the slime farm. This should this should be a quick quick one. Um, this is like this is gonna be a quick episode because I'm just slicing this as sort of like, and I guess you want to call it a an um, supplemental. This is definitely gonna be a supplemental because it's only gonna be like three or four minutes long. Alright, maybe a little bit longer than that. It might end up being like a full, full nine minutes, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, my slime farm is found by using a, um, application that I found on the web. It's sort of a website you go, you put your world seed, and then what happens is that by using your seed, it figures out, based on an algorithm, which chunks should have slime spawning in them. Now, it's supposedly every tenth chunk, more or less, um, based on the algorithm. Although, there are places where there's like three or four chunks right next to each other, so it happens. Random generation, what do you, what do you want? And uh, so, I built a six-floor... That's, that's right, this is actually taller. This, goes, this is taller in total... total floor space than the uh, the mob spawner I have upstairs. I don't, th don't think it's it actually has more floor space because this is 16 by 16 by 6 and that is 12 by 12 times 4 times 3 so yeah. That's that's the square footage. So this is sixteen. This is sixteen times six. So the one upstairs definitely has more floor space. Actually, this just has more more height to it. So you may have noticed that there's already torches down here, and I didn't light up these this just to show you because slimes. They don't care what the light level is when they spawn. However, they do like to be uh, a very elusive mob. They don't spawn very often. And the reason they don't spawn very often is because when the game makes a check to say, okay, I'm going to spawn a, uh, a mob here, then uh, it, it runs a percentage check to see if it wants to spawn an Enderman or a uh, spider, or a creeper, or a zombie, or a skeleton. But then, it has a very reduced spawn percentage for slimes. On top of that code is a code that it basically says, out of every time you try to spawn a mob, if you get a slime, you don't spawn it. Unless it's like, you know, one out of every ten times you try to spawn a slime, you're going to spawn a slime. Um, so, you want to make it so that the game has no choice but to spawn a slime. You want to make sure that no other spawn mobs are going to spawn in your slime farm. Because that's going to reduce your spawn rates. So, that's how I did it. I just said, okay, well, I'm going to say, well light this bad boy up so that it is light as it can, can be and that will make sure that the mobs um, will spawn. Um, as you see, you can see I've had to fill in a lot of sections with cobblestone. That was that was because there were caves down here 
that I was mining through and I wanted a a specific type of, of shape to my mob spawner. Now you may have also noticed there's there's no there's nowhere that the spot the mobs are gonna shoot out and go die. Well, I said I'm building this on a 16 by 16 basis. This is the only chunk that in the area that spawns slimes, and I just want slimes. Slimes are not particularly difficult to kill, especially if you have the big ones. I'm far enough away or close enough that anywhere in this room, if I stand right here, I can kill the, the mobs. Just stand here and just do this, you know, and they'll walk into your sword and die. And then you just go in there and collect all the slime balls. So I actually, when I farm my slimes, I come down here and I basically get busy. <laughs> Wear some armor and just kind of, you know, go hack hack and get the slime balls. It's messy, but, you know, it gets the job done. Here we have a uh, separate tunnel out. There's a fairly decent chance that I will add on to my mob, uh, my uh, slime spawner in the future, just to get maybe another floor in there. It goes up to spawn, uh, slimes now spawn, and the bottom 40 layers of the map, they didn't used to. Um, they used to only spawn in the bottom 16. So that's kind of where I stopped. I said, yeah, originally I said I can stop at the 16th layer, but I figured if I had a couple extra floors on top of that and then cleaned them out, it would just make things a lot easier for preventing mobs from spawning because if I have these giant rooms and I light them up, then there's nowhere for other mobs to spawn. So there you go. <laughs> I did notice after I put that in there that I had a bit of an increase, slight though it was, increase in the, uh, amount of mobs I got out of this spawner, and I think that's because I've I've made it so that this chunk here doesn't spawn anything. It's right next to it. So there's there's some there's some anecdotal evidence that lighting up all of the chunks around your mob spawner and all the way to bedrock is not a bad idea. In fact if you want to build a proper mob spawner you might even want to have it excavate it out around it all the way to bedrock and then light that up and literally you won't have to worry about your mob spawner dealing with other mobs spawning in the area. Here's something else I forgot to show you. This is the uh, output chute for my, my mobs. A lot of people like just have it filled with water. I come down here and I stand right in front of this glass block and uh, get my, uh, get my items. You know, they pop right out. There you go. I have all the stuff I need. Get free items! Alright. That's all I wanted to show you today. So, well, I will catch you in my next episode. As I was going to say before I shut myself off so stupidly, I'm going to be showing you the nether next time. So, get prepared to be scared. Catch you later.